the journey 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 to radius 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 you know so that that's what it especially when we're talking about the seed and we were talking about this i want to say at the we all started off as a seed we all started off as a seed do you know how uncomfortable it got but, but, Can but, we but turn wasn't around? uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Because even go, even you, you heard what it sounded like when, when okay. you when, when you came out. Right. Listen. Hey, somebody said, yeah. Somebody. I'm exploding, <laughs> hey baby. You know what somebody what did yeah, say it's yeah. coming, it's coming, it's, it's coming, coming, baby. Hold on, baby. <laughs> don't touch me. You right. Know? Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> so we, you know, we came so out. It was a, it, yeah. It, it, it was an explosion. Right. Yeah. You right. know. So that's and, and, you know. And we we went into that soil. Yeah. Right. You know. And so even just you know when you talked about the third eye. It gave me this whole image of the third eye not looking outward, but, but looking, looking inward. inward. That's it. And the third eye is looking inward yeah. to us. Yeah. You know, into yeah, yeah, that yeah. dark. Reflecting. You yeah. know, reflecting. You know, yeah. um, that whole growth process. It's deep. You know. And it's not that there's no movement. There is an I and G in there. Absolutely. Right? Because if you look at a tree in the wintertime, it looks like it's dead. Yeah. Right, a whole bunch of stuff is going on in the soil. It may mm. be very slow, but there's movement. If there were yeah. no movement, then in the spring we would have we would no have budding. Nothing. Yeah, mm. right. We would have nothing. So something is happening in the darkness, yes. and how do we come to a place of trusting? Yes, mm. that's really that, what this is about. Right, trusting the dark. Yes, trusting the dark. trusting the dark and recognizing that it's you know and this one I gotta go to my 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 growing up in the church days you know that, that knowing that the dark is just a lesser light. Mm. Um, that it doesn't mean that it is it, that there is nothing happening. Yeah. It doesn't mean that it's oh this is all bad. This is all this. No, but what it does mean is that that's like even in the dark. Even when you are in the dark, when you are in the dark, at some point your eyes begin to adjust. Yes. Yeah. So it's not that you can't even see when something is pitch black. It, that, so there's something that happens where there is light that is still emanating from mm. inside of you. So that now your eyes have adjusted. I'm able to see that oh there's that's a table there. Yeah. Or, or that's a that's a this that that's something. So, yeah, being able to trust, trust the process. Trust not not then then we go back to okay, trust when we've had all of these experiences, mm-hmm. right? We've had all of these things happen to us. We've had, um, you know, all of these people to say uh, no or to say yes when we didn't want a yes, you know, or when we have all of these things that have happened. So, and 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 trusting ourselves and you know so everything that comes with that everything is 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 such a layered layered piece mm. um but even in that yet again we're still back to knower know thyself knower know thyself mm-hmm. you know and that brings us again back to what are we latching on to what are our roots what have we latched on to what really is the foundation and how do mm. we how do we you know hold on to Hold on to to a foundation that serves us. Yes, because there, what we find, especially in our lives, is that we we've been uh, holding on to a belief system that has not served us. Mm. It, you know, in 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 not in ways that we would like. Yeah. Rather, so you know, this is about not in ways that are beneficial for our not right. for ourselves, not for our families. It doesn't match our missions. It doesn't match our visions. Mm-hmm. It doesn't match. It doesn't match. It doesn't match. Right. It doesn't match. It doesn't match. Even and that's when okay. Now here, this is when forgiveness comes into place. Now I got to forgive myself. Mm-hmm. Yes, I forgive my mother and father for 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 giving me this, giving me this. You know, doing this thing, but then. And some compassion and some understanding and everything that comes with these only tools I had. Mm. This is all I could give you. Yeah. I didn't know what else to give I you. I didn't know. I didn't I did know. That's, I right. That's right. That's I didn't know. I did the best that I had. And then, so now here, you know, here we are trying to figure it all out. You know, we out here winging it. Yeah. And <laughs> literally, yeah. you know. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's about, you know, going back to that aspect, trusting the dark. You know, uh, um, trusting... Uh, um, our capacity to hold um, more than um, more than we can think, mm-hmm. more than we can think. We and even in saying that, uh, spirit is like, 
well, if we don't think that we can hold a lot, then we won't be able to hold a lot, right? right. So this is the power of the mind right. at this point. So now this is about, again, back to this aspect of forgiveness. I'm, so I, I always say that forgiveness, I had to deal with this definition and, and kind of almost write it out and, and tweak it and everything. So what I did, had to come up with was that forgiveness is I'm for giving up an old notion of myself in order to gain a new perspective. Sure. Mm. So when I think about it from that space, um, then there are some things that shift, right? I'm, I'm, I'm moving a different kind of way. I'm, I'm looking at life. Uh, a different kind of way because I'm always I'm sometimes we're moment to moment for giving ourselves mm -hmm. moment to moment I'm giving up an old notion yes. uh, day to day we're giving up an old notion right so it it this is this is a lot of 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 what this is about um, creating new belief systems new patterns new thoughts so that we're able to move through this life literally anew yes because that's what. That's how it is, right? When we go to bed, we're waking up like, oh, happy Easter. It's Easter every day for us. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> it's resurrection day every day. Mm. Every moment we lay down, happy Easter, yes. And that, happy birthday. That, that over and over again. That allows the flow. That allows the flow Absolutely. To, to happen. Absolutely. Mm. So how do you, I love that visual you you gave of the, the roots kind of reaching into the soil and providing the anchor. Yeah. What anchors you in the truest part of yourself? Mm. I, my... my Faith. Faith is the first word that came up. Faith. Um, so I, 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 I'm I, looking at it from, you know, like they say, it's the, you know, um, evidence as well. We don't always equate faith and evidence. It's almost like this blind kind of thing, but it's, uh, it's what creates the 2020 vision for me. It, you know, it's what creates the, the, the highest vision um because it's um a belief it's a knowing um it's a celebration um it's a joy um i thought at one point it could have been a burden <laughs> you know i thought that I, I thought that at at one point um but no it's what um that is my anchor everything else i can say my my Family, um, my my wealth and abundance and everything is attached absolutely to my family. Um, but even that in and of itself is about my faith and intuition mm -hmm. and belief and what that what that means mm -hmm. for me because it 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 opens the door for everything else, right? Um, and then you know, so I come up like in a. In, being from New Orleans is now we grew I I I grew up Catholic in New Orleans, yeah. right? So Catholic school. Cat yeah, everything Easter was Sunday. I that 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 that's it. You know, yeah. candles and you know, my mama was one of them kind of people, you know, light a candle, say a prayer. You know, that was that was it. Your mama right here, here, light a candle, say a prayer. <laughs> I gotta pass the test, you light a candle, say a prayer. Now the only thing that would change about that is the color <laughs> of the candle. Mm -hmm. So if I needed some action, you got to light you a red candle. Mm -hmm. Right, so uh, all of these things, and uh, this was before I knowingly, yeah. you know, uh, became a, a practitioner uh, in the um, Orisha tradition. But um, yeah, all of those things that I grew up seeing in in, in this this Catholic slash Hoodoo slash Christian slash whatever else, you know, whatever other name we would want to put on how spirit moves in 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 a household like that so that was you know that was the that was the main thing for me the light a candle say a prayer and I probably still live not probably I still live my life like that light yeah. a candle yeah. I'm lighting yeah. candles I'm still lighting candles and saying prayers you know because so. even as you said you know even before your overstanding and your introduction into the uh, Orisha yeah. spirituality to yeah. where you realize wait a sec yeah those certain color candles mean something. Yeah, absolutely. And they have certain power to them. So just yeah. even the beauty of that already being instilled in yeah. your mother and grandmother's DNA without them really even knowing. Yeah. Actually, this is what it means. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they didn't know. And even now, you know, even when I'm, you know, I give thanks for, and that's the answer, that's the real ancestor work, um, that we don't, 
we've been talking about this a lot this weekend, that we don't compartmentalize ourselves. Mm-hmm. I don't have to separate myself yeah. to B, yeah. to yeah. capital B, capital E, yeah. right? So if my ancestors say I need you to go to this church today and do what I, I'm, I'm there, yeah. you know, or I, you, I need you to do whatever this is. I want stewed chicken. I don't, I don't eat chicken. Yeah. But you, you want stewed chicken and potato salad and, you know, then done. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's how we move, you know. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a, 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 it's a big thing. And then growing up again, like I live across the street from a graveyard and things like that. So I think that was something that, and, you know, New Orleans is a place where you just see graveyards anyway. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so, right. um, when I'm talking about just ancestors and and what that means, it's something that you are very comfortable with. Mm. That you're like, you're comfortable with. Yeah. But a lot of people that grow up in maybe just a Judeo Christian yeah. background, um, or you know, <clears throat> just watch a lot of television and are afraid of you know ghosts and goblins. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, there's yeah. this this perception mm. of uh, the spirit realm. Yeah. You know, and I've even run into black folks that are just embarrassed or uncomfortable or that don't want to even be associated, yeah. you know, with the African spiritual or that weird yeah. thing. You no, know, can I, you I, speak to that? Yeah. And these are the main ones, too, who may have um, a picture of their grandmother on the mantle yes. with a little candle next to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Not something knowing. like that. Not, Not realizing. Know. Yeah. Right. So, you know, it's it's like keep that going. Mm-hmm. Keep keep those things going. It, or, or, or even when we say, oh, Lord, I remember when, you know, such and such would say, those are, those are, you know, us doing, you know, I'm, I'm saying this term, we hear this ancestor work. You know, we hear this and it sounds so heavy, but the reality is that our ancestors don't, um, let, let me say this. So even though I may know all of these prayers and songs and I can sing a a a Mojuba Fe Fe these kind of songs, right? And that might that'll get some some things moving. I'm I'm giving honor, you know, unto uh to, to our ancestors. But at the same time, I know my what my grandmother yeah. And all my other ones, you they know, they they, right. they 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 need, you know, precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, yeah. let me stand. So you know, they need all of these kind of things, right? All of them. So I have, yeah, right. all yeah. that go go. Yeah. Yes. So it's like I don't want just um at, now. That also brings me to uh one of you know one of who was uh 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 uh, uh, uh Baba Bobby Pega, right? When he would say, I, I'm looking at him now. He was cleaning his glasses. He was sitting down. He's he's uh, transitioned since since then, but he was sitting down cleaning his glasses, and I remember asking him about a particular ancestor. He said, "You know, you don't know how your ancestors can help you mm-hmm. now that they're on the other side." That's right? right. So that also makes me think of of you know uh, when we heard they said um you it said you you think that unemployment is high in this realm. Can you imagine? Ooh. Can you imagine in the Spirit other realm? Ooh. My goodness. How high is unemployment? There? Can you imagine that? Because mm. we're not putting these ancestors to, to work, work when they want when they when they want Ooh, to work. Even yes. if it's something as simple as I wonder I gotta, what I, I wonder. Right. Hold on, y'all. I, I, I can't let that slide, y'all. It, it's sunny. I'm sorry, but that, <laughs> that's going to end up in one of my songs or something. Like, <laughs> Ooh, how many now, ancestors? How many no. are going unemployed? Now, wait, listen. That, mm. Now that's not that's. Let's be clear. Now that's not my. I'm paraphrasing, but that's not my my word. So yeah. you, you use it as you will. <laughs> but that, <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. That's actually from um the um. The gist of of that yeah. is in the book, The Spirit of Intimacy. Mm. Um, mm. Uh, but when I heard that, so Sabun Fusome would come to uh, New Orleans um, right after Katrina to do grief rituals. Um, so when hearing that, reading that is is one thing. Reading the the gist of that is one thing, but experiencing that, you know, is 
a whole nother is a whole nother thing, right? So that's what this is about. Like even again, if it's something as simple as, I wonder what you know Uncle Keith would do. I wonder what you know such and such. Even if it's something when when you're sitting at the table and you you you're holding your head and it's like, oh Lord, another bill. What mm-hmm. did you know? Just all just yes. it's it's simple. It's simple things. Our ancestors don't want. They don't want much, right. yeah. you know. But 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 a name sometimes. Mm. But but to say you know say their names in that sense. If listen, if we could be singing, uh, who is that? Uh, Beyonce and such. Mm. Say my name. Say my name. Right. That's that's really that's an ancestor cry. Right. <laughs> that's an ancestor cry. She put ginger on Ooh, that. She put yeah. Say my name. My say goodness. my name. Yeah, that's yeah. An ancestor. So cry. you're saying just thinking about just think an about ancestor. You don't have to, to yeah. involve yourself in some deep, you know, African in ritual deep, that yeah. scares you. But right. but to just remember well, your ancestors and to, to bring them into your everyday well, life. Well, to realize that you do that. Yes, so that, that you're already, already doing you're already, it. Thank you. Yes, what, what you're afraid of, you're actually already doing. Well, and then oh, on yes. top of that, even people you you said in the you know as far as Christian, you know, faith. But here's the reality: anytime Jesus and anybody introduced themselves, they wasn't just introducing themselves. That's right. right. They gave you their entire lineage mm. before they even got to who they mm. are. Mm-hmm. We can say, you know, so we can say, oh my God, I love Jesus so much. Yeah. That's an ancestor. Right, so we're already doing this we're this doing work. It. So yeah. what when 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 Jesus will come along, Jesus telling you about him, 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 him from the line of such yeah. and such and such and yeah. such. That's now right. let you say it. That's let right. you yeah. stand up in the church and say, "I am Doctor Doctor Phyllis, and I'm such and such child child of da 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 child right. of blah da 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 who was the this and this and this and blah." They're gonna look at you like, "Nah, I can't believe it." But then at the same time. They would get up and read. But we do that. Yes. When we're writing at, at for our funerals, right? We have an obituary. We're not just listing this person. That's right. Oh, yeah, you know, he died on. He was the son of he Mary. Son of, he was right. preceded by, by his father. Preceded right. in yeah, death you know, by. You death understand? By, you you yeah. name their That's ancestors. Right. You name their ancestors. You understand? So mm. this is for us to be comfortable Yes. With what it is that we already have with this kind of power. But you see what happens. Now we back to this number three. We were talking about this number three um, earlier. So now we back to this third chakra uh, aspect as well. And just this number three in general, we're dealing with this thing of self-power. Mm. We don't believe that we have that kind of power mm. to call a lineage, uh, you know, to come down and help us mm. uh, in this in this way. We don't believe that. So this is about how do we, you you know, fortify this belief mm. um, within ourselves, first and foremost, that we even have the power uh, to breathe life into something, into something like this. Like, oh, no, 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 I don't believe that. We talk, we, we, and we, we don't gotta, believe it with our own lineage. But like you said, we'll call and say, Jesus, I'm going to need your help. Yes. We'll pray. Who are we yeah. praying to? But we've gotten away and been programmed to be scared of yeah. saying that actually all that strength is already in my lineage because yeah. we come from those who couldn't be killed. Listen, We come from those that didn't jump overboard. Yeah. We come from those that made that long voyage and yeah. harvest the midlands and clean the chitlins Ooh. and raise the babies yeah. and, and, and were beaten and, and yeah. repro. We come from that. All for you. You know, all for you. All right. for you. You know what I'm saying? How Sheesh. powerful are you and your ancestors that you were able to make that journey, you know, because when Look you go that. to the to the slave forts mm-hmm. and you see, you know, and you hear about how difficult that journey was mm-hmm. to only be uh, uh, brought into hell, for lack of a better word, yeah. you know, where you were beaten and reprogrammed. Mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. But something about you and your lineage, you decided that no, this I'm seed stay. is going to be I'm planted. Yeah. You know, even through, you know, like you're saying, Dr. Dr. Phyllis, you know, through the winter. Yes. You know, everything slowed down mm-hmm. and it was hard for stuff to grow. We were the seed that grew. That's yes. right. You know, Ooh. and so how powerful mm. are we? Mm. You know, um, why would we be scared to call on that power? Yeah. You know, and we got and, a God and, complex. Well, could it be by design? That of we were course. cut off from being able to call on and believe in that power that is already us. Of course. You know, that third eye looking in. Yeah, you of know, course. And we, we have being a, programmed not yeah. to look in and realize, wow, I got to be so powerful just to be, be here. here. Just to be here. That's right. Just to be. But that's Capital what it is. Capital B-E. Yeah. 
<laughs> we have a God complex. And the, the complex is because we we have we have believed in a, another person's God for so long mm. that to say, even even when we interact with one another and we say, oh my God. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Oh my God. That's yeah. right. Right? Yeah. That's like a, mm-mm, it's blasphemous. Yeah. But to say, even we, I, I keep going back to the, you know, to the the wonder, to the wonder of Jesus. Uh, and I think about that lineage and everything, right? And people are like, oh, even when they say, my line ain't, you know, his, look at him. He's immaculate. We say this, right? He's yeah. perfect. Yeah. And then he was like, but, you know, look at his line. Look at what he comes from. You know, all of these kind of things that we'll come up with, right? When you look at it, he a uh, uh, mama who was pregnant. Virgin, and people, yeah. Vir- well, we know she wasn't no virgin, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, so you better be careful. So I'm Sound saying, like the devil right, talking. Right. <laughs> well, we know. Right, I mean, word. you know. I mean, you know, we, we, we got this. Can you imagine? Joseph, like, <laughs> yeah, no. Right, this ain't about the work. Mm-mm. In the midst of all that, in the midst of all, gentlemen, of, listen. Hey, that's that's stunning. In the midst of, yeah, <laughs> you, know. you know. So we gotta we gotta look at all of this like just just as this family, right? Was well, then you look at well, oh, where all these brothers come from me here? What happened here? Well, yeah, you know all yeah. of these kind of things. So I'm I'm saying is to normalize and to look at our families as holy as well. Mm. I'm saying that so that we can begin to see ourselves because that's what Jesus said, right? Great and greater things mm. will you do. Teach right, so I'm 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 wanting us to see the divinity within the ourselves, yes, and what that means and what that looks like, that so means. that yet again, here this you know that there's a quote and it's, it's an anonymous quote, but it says there is no one coming. God mm. sent you, mm. right, mm. and you hey, and you and Dr. you. Doctor Phyllis, and you. we are the Calvary. We are the Calvary. Mm. No Calvary coming to save the day. No, we right? are the Calvary. We are the Calvary. We <laughs> yeah. We it. We that's it. Right. That's it. What we y'all it. need me to do? Yeah. We it. And that's power. But we need to it. activate. Well, we'll recognize, as you say. Yeah. Recognize that divinity within us, that power within us. Yeah. And then activate it. You know, I yeah. have uh, an arm mm-hmm. that will be limp unless yeah. I work it yeah. and build the muscle. So yeah. what is the... Um, equivalent of that type of work yeah. to develop that connection. Love. Mm. Mm-hmm. love. That's it. You heard it's it here, love ladies ourselves. and gentlemen. Love thyself. Love. We're here with the great Sonny Patterson. This is Journey to Radiance, end of the year health and healing strategies. I'm your host, Wolfhawk Jaguar, and we're here with Dr. Phyllis Hubbard. Dr. Phyllis, take us into a health and healing strategy. Mm. In the midst of. In the midst of. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you're ready for this. I got my shades on, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask us to level it up a little bit. Level up. So, as always, if you are driving, please pull over because you're going to need all of your attention, right? This is a wonderful exercise that brings you into the present moment. And so we're going to bring our shoulders up back and down and just relax our bodies with a nice straight spine and what we're going to do is a very simple breathing exercise just three times but I'm going to talk you through it first we're going to take a breath in through our nose and then as we exhale we're going to imagine that we are blowing through a straw so we're going to exhale through pursed lips so get this visual you're exhaling through pursed lips at the end of the straw is a feather and you don't want to ruffle the feather so it's a very slow inhale exhale and the exhale is going to take about 10 seconds so i will walk us through the inhale and then a very slow exhale and i'll let you know when it's time to inhale again Y'all ready in the studio? All right, here we go. So let's take a slow, deep breath in. Very gently through pursed lips, exhale. Further. 
Breathe gently through pursed lips. Exhale. girl magic evolves into black woman juju when power exudes from pores when heart expands when listening is done with more than ears bone deep and boundless a blood tide sacrifice a walking altar offer more than your words here after all i birthed your mouth from my own we communicate in placenta in parable in places before this one, my sisters sit in circles, sifting stories of old and future times, retelling the records of ancient beings, foretold us of a time when we would have to remind you of your return back to the beginning, remember you whole when limbs are humpty dumped on battlefields, when the only thing that can put you back together again is a mother's moan or a woman's word. When your blood free flows in the street or your feet trample hearts too heavy to hold or do too delicate to touch, we, gatherers of tears, seamstresses of men, turn sorrows into gin, pour libation and petition spirit on your behalf, or if you could remember, if only you knew, the jungles I have gone through, the fires I have eaten, the waters I have spilled, all in hopes that you would float right back to me, that you would feel the warmth of my fluid, that you would hear the hum of my poem, that you would give a reminiscent smile, that you would wake up walking, wielding a sword, chopping every illusion and obstacle in the way of you getting back to yourself, and not because of me, but because after all, you remember all of you. Remember the parts you left that left you incomplete. Remember the pieces of the dream. Remembered your skin and scent and longed for yourself, became your own water, your own thoughts, your own you. Then saw me with eyes speaking a language normally reserved for flowers, and I heard you. Touch me in a way that made me remember my plant life, or oh, we have spanned lifetimes, life forms, forged a way out of rock and sky, sea and mineral, seed and leaf, you and me, a mirrored magnificence where each stage of life is a page of sacred scripture. Our presence alone is a healing balm and tincture, is cure, is sound, even when the world won't pronounce our pronouns, won't speak our speech, can't see the we, we are becoming something more, something bigger than before. Morphing into the beings the primordial one spoke of, we are out of space here. We are out of space here. We are traveling grace. We are larger than thought. We fill the atmosphere. We are cyclical. We are linear. We are particles parting and dividing, then finding ourselves at every turn. Oh, there you are again. There I am again meeting you for the first time, and here we stand, arm in arm, hand in hand, circles expanding and contracting, exploding and compressing, forever weaving in and out. We were always told about how you'd return, how it would be daytime, how the sun would be at its peak, how you would smile, how it would light up the sky. Blessings are now, ladies and gentlemen, the great Sonny Patterson here on Journey to Radiance. You know, we were speaking, and I just want you to kind of touch on this a little bit. We've mm -hmm. kind of spoke about it a little bit here and there, but uh, uh, 
you know, you are an Orisha practitioner. Yeah. And, you know, uh, when we speak about the fear around that, you know, I think you've done a good job of, of, of bridging, mm-hmm. you know, shall I say, yeah. you know, uh, uh, modern day spiritual practice with <clears throat> that of old, you know. Mm. That old time religion yeah, is yeah, good yeah. enough for me. That's right. Speak it to us a little bit about it. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was good. Go for on, come, should we sing it? Come on. Come on now, <laughs> Dr. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, 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 talk to us a little bit about that, you know, because, you know, I, I love how you said, you know, even to our Arisha practitioners out there and our traditional African spiritualists out there, we can't forget Big Mama. That's right. No and way. what she practiced. I That's wish right. I we, would. We, we can't no. forget mm. that. We can't forget Papa. No. And what he practiced and, and what he needs. Yeah. On, on his shrine. Yeah. You know. Um. So in the process of that, you know, I think when we allow ourselves to uh, uh, know. Yeah. You know, um, it allows us to move a little bit further down the line. Yeah. To where we can get to a point where we say, you know what. Mm-hmm. I'm not afraid to go to Africa now. Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily just physically, because I know that that the yeah. whole Tarzan movement it scared us. Right. To be honest, you know, <laughs> it's true. It, it, at some yeah. point, we got to yeah. kill Tarzan. We got to, yeah. you yeah. know, because yeah, yeah, what Tarzan yeah. did it made us afraid. Right. Yeah. You know, the last thing we want to do is go to a place where there's little black kids with big bellies and ain't eight. Yeah. Right. You know, and right. there's a gang of yeah. wild animals grabbing people right. and there's yeah. flies all over. And yeah. There's some crazy man speaking a crazy language with yeah. a machine gun. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's poverty and all this and plague wars. And, you know, yeah. that's what they gave us of Africa. So it, it's understandable that a lot of us are scared to go back. You right. know, when you hear about people going on vacation, mm-hmm. you know, it always amazes people go everywhere. But, but Africa, Africa. <laughs> exactly, and I, and I, I don't get mad at it because I right. understand the programming, yeah. mm-hmm. you know. But even just going back spiritually, you yeah. know, if we can understand the fear of what it is to go back physically. Yeah, you know, I, I can understand that the fear to go back spiritually. But as we walk down that line, mm-hmm. eventually we're gonna come to the point where we say. Okay, now I'm ready to go back to Africa. Yeah. Spiritually right. and find yeah. out what all that was. The journey. 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 to radius. journey. to radius. journey. to radius. journey. to radius. journey. to When you shape shift and form, break away from the norm. Higher levels of achievement, persistence is needed. A campaign for black male achievement, rooted in cultural relevance. Opening the door for healing, flooding the mind with positive images. It's up to us to start loving us and really start believing. Black male reimagining the image of our greatness, building communities and taking ownership and knowing it's not about keeping score, but brothers coming together from shore to shore. It's sure the pain is the same, the game ain't gonna change until we. Become the change that we want to see I know we gonna win Muhammad Ali One is manifesting collective wealth What a blessing guiding you on your journey to radiant health Journey to radiant Journey 